The shocking losses of the Russian army in Avdiivka were revealed. Russian losses in the Avdiivka direction have already exceeded their losses in Vulidar and near Bakhmut, according to a statement by the head of the Avdiivka city military administration, Vitali Barabash. According to Barabash, the number of Russian military casualties is already definitively several thousand, at least three to four thousand. And the wounded there are definitely seven to eight thousand already. Many say that the enemy's losses in the Avdiivka direction have already exceeded its losses in Vulidar and Bakhmut, emphasized Barabash. Regarding military equipment, Barabash states that the figures vary. Some report that the occupiers lost more than 200 units of equipment, while others claim it is over 400. I am more inclined to the second option, because only on the first day of this escalation, October the 10th, when they went, almost 100 units of equipment were moving and about 60 of them were destroyed. They moved in columns during the first wave. A lot of equipment was destroyed, he explained. Barabash explains that the battles between the Ukrainian and Russian military are currently taking place in the area of the spoil tip itself. Spoil tip, in general, has no value. It is just a heap of coal rock. Now it is a grey zone and battles are taking place in this area. It's just that Avdiivka itself, the entire platform, the whole city, is geographically located at a height. Donetsk and Yasi Nubata can be seen from Avdiivka. That's why they need it, explained the head of the military administration. Earlier, the head of the Avdiivka military administration expressed the opinion that Russian forces were likely ready for a third wave of the city's assault, but weather conditions prevented them from using equipment.